Okay, this one is about the Monster Honeywell Motorized Bypass Boiler Valve. Okay, this, uh, this valve is actually a bypass valve. Uh, you know, it's obviously for boilers. Water comes in this way, goes out that way, and can be bypassed down here. So that if it's wide open, you get full flow between here and here. As it starts to close, then more and more water is going to bypass to here. So uh, it'll bypass and go back to the boiler probably. Uh, the way this would be set up was uh, boiler would be on this side, uh, the radiation uh, or radiators would be on this side and when the temperature reaches a certain point it starts cutting this down and bypassing more water back to the boiler. So it's a three-way valve. It's a modulating control. Now, this is a real freaking antique. This thing's out of the 50s, uh, probably. Uh, anything that has the wrinkle finish on Honeywell and says Minneapolis Honeywell, you know is one antique son of a gun. This is built like a tank. Uh, valves that we would use now that would do the same thing are just tiny compared to this thing. Uh, I'll pull the cover off and you can kind of take a look at the linkage. Okay, you can see there, here's your valve here and your uh, plunger right here. Uh, this is a guide for the slide. And this here, this is a little bit of an odd duck. It's uh, hard to tell from looking at it right there. That's a spring in there. You can see how heavy that spring is up there in the top, you can see the, the spring wire and how heavy it is. Uh, this is so that if the valve bottoms out, then it doesn't break anything. The, the spring just uh, gives. But it's just such a monster. Now, you can look at the linkage here. Uh, let me get some lighting a little better in there. You can see the linkage. Now right down here is the mod motor. That's a modulating motor. It rotates partial turns. Moves this linkage, which moves this, which moves this, and uh, down to the valve. Uh, seems like they had far more steel than they ever needed for anything to build this thing. This is still available. You can still buy this valve. Most of them I think are rebuilt and there are companies that actually rebuild these things. But amazingly enough, uh, you can get uh, this valve uh, or at least the, uh, the mod motor for it. Because I've seen the mod motor for sure. Here's a look at the back side where the actual mod motor is. Uh, there's the actuator, or at least the controls for the actuator. There's your shaft right there, and it rotates about. Uh, the controls are all up here. I'm going to uh, try to explain one of these things. I'll get this thing up and running. And I'll see if I can explain how these work because they're actually the basis of all mod motors out there. Uh, anymore they use electronics for most of this. However, it works pretty much the same way when everything's said and done. But anyway, that's going to be kind of a work in progress. 
Uh, there's a special thermostat for them. Uh, I think I might have one. And if I do, I'll hook it up. Otherwise, I'll just hook a potentiometer up to it. And we'll, uh, we'll see if we can figure out how this thing works. But that's for a later uh, vid.